to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany and welcome to my little humble abode. I've been doing a lot of beauty stuff lately on my channel because that's just kind of what I've been in the mood for, but I wanted to go back to my original roots and do some DIY stuff. Of course, it is a home decoration because those are my favorite types of DIYs to do. And I actually saw these type of candle holders at this place called Earthbound. I'm not sure if you know what that is or not, but I wanted to find a way to recreate my own. To make sure that you don't miss any videos that I post, be sure to hit that red subscribe button and thumbs up this video so you can keep me here and going, y'all. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this video. The supplies you will need are our paintbrushes, Elmer's glue, some puffy paint, a jar to mix, food coloring, and some jars to paint. Or you can get a pre-tinted jar too if you just want to make your life easy and just do the puffy paint. But I think that takes away from some of the fun of painting the jar. The first thing you want to do is take that little mixing bowl that you have and pour some glue in there. And then you're going to take some food coloring and put some drops in there. Now the amount of drops is up to you. It depends on the color that you want. You may want a darker color, you may want it lighter. So just keep your eye on it and see how the color turns out and just do accordingly. Once you have your mixture, turn your jar upside down and paint it along the sides. You want to do this on the outside of the jar because that way if you want to put like anything that may have water or something in it, it won't ruin the paint. And this is just the best way to preserve the color and the paint and to make it stay on. And then just let this dry overnight. I put mine out in the sun to speed up the process and I don't know if you saw but I had like a, a honeycomb type texture that happened to it because of the way that the sun and the glue was and I actually really like that so I went ahead and did that with my other ones because this was my test one that I did and I thought that looked cool so if you want just like plain standard none of that texture type stuff just leave it in a room at home and close the door so nobody can get to it. So this is the part that actually makes it bohemian type style. So when the jar is dry or if you just use one that's pre-painted or pre-colored like this one is, just take that puffy paint and use a gold coloring because gold is a very big color in a bohemian type style and interior. So just take your gold puff paint and draw designs on there. There's like half petal designs, I did like half circles. You can see the jars that I did for example or you can search up like bohemian ta tapestries and stuff like that for inspiration of different designs you can do. But this is all completely up to you. And once that is dry, your jars are done and ready to be used. Well, I hope you guys are a fan of the new little candle holder jar thing, whatever you want to use it for, for your home. I am personally a big fan of the bohemian style when it comes to decor, so I am so excited to be able to put this in my home. And if you don't want to miss anything, again, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and like this video, only if you want to. And I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye! Y'all, I don't know how well you can see it because it's been really hard to catch them on camera. Like, even on my phone. I'm afraid to zoom in because I think the mom's on the roof across from us, like, staring at me. But there's four baby birds. Every spring, we always have a bird nest in there. And they're so cute. And there's four of them this year. And I think they might be little finches, maybe. They're so tiny. And they're so cute.